probably the most gorgeous view ever. I mean, yeah, goddamn, that looks amazing. So after all the shenanigans in the last episode, I think that it's time that we actually make some progress here today. And I have a level. Let me see. Uh, what do I want to pump that into? More health, I guess? Yeah, I'm leveling way quicker than I thought. Like, what the hell? Ark, just nerf the XP or something. I I'm not even trying to level. I'm just leveling. It's crazy. Anyway, um, base-wise, we're gonna try and work on this here today. I don't know if we're even gonna find a beaver. I did actually go ahead and grind out to make a saddle. I didn't realize it cost 100 uh, ingots, by the way. It was kind of insane. Uh, you may notice that the base is looking a little bit different. I actually shifted it over a little bit, and the reason why I did that was because before, when I stepped outside, there was like a little hill. This little hill right here. So I just shifted it all the way down here, and I also made it a little bit smaller, so like these bits on the sides were three wide, now they're only two, and then the middle was uh, three wide, and now it's four. So slightly, uh, slightly not as long, I guess, or whatever. Um, all right. Well, anyway, today I want to I want to see if we can get a beaver. I did go over here earlier and there was a couple beavers and they were all really, really, really low levels. I'm talking like there was another level five. There was a level 10 and then there was a level 20. And I really wanted to try and at least tame up the level 20. But I just had visions of a Therizino taking it from me. So, yeah, we're just um, we're going to see if we can actually manage to get one here today. Just one one beaver, just like a half decent level, something over 50. I would be happy with. Okay, that's all I need, Ark. Okay, deal, deal. Okay, good. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, let's see what we can actually manage to do. Um, I've been like dropping kind of down off the cliff here, like shimmying my way down. I think over there is probably the better spot to be honest, because the last time I took just a little bit of fall damage. Um, kind of learning the area a little bit more not right now as well. Um, there's like another like hill over across a river over there, and then we can find some metal there, and that's probably gonna be our spot unless there's more metal here somewhere that I just haven't found yet okay we're fine that actually didn't hurt too much actually i don't even think that hurt at all Ooh, we took a little bit of damage there though that's okay yeah maybe first person is probably best for shimming down the cliff all right let's see do we have any more beavers over here so yeah that's the plan we'll see what happens though i mean so far things have not really been going to plan you know we tame stuff there is you know take it from me that's kind of how this whole series has gone so far and just in all honesty, there's way too many Therizinos. Can we talk about that? Like, wildcard, what the hell did you do? Why are they more common than raptors? It's just insane. Absolutely just bonkers. I do not understand it at all. Let's actually go ahead and put that onto the hotbar as well. So, um, yeah, wait, why is my spyglass not on my hotbar? What the hell? There we go. Cool. So, yeah, we, uh, we have pretty much everything that we're going to need to hopefully be able to knock out a beaver if I can find one. Unfortunately, I won't be able to bring it back to the base and tame it there. Oh, I see one. Hell yeah. All right, let me see. What level are you? You are <laughs> level 10. You are mate boosted, though, so that... Oh, hello! Uh, da, da, da. Uh, okay, we got him. <laughs> Everything's good. Ah, there we go. Okay, wait, wait. There's a couple of them around here. Hello. Let's see. So, wait, was this the one I already looked at? Yes, you are. It's a 145! Yes! Oh, I'm gonna tame that one. Okay, good. Uh, Let me see. Let me just kill anything that might intrude on my teaming process here. Here we go. We got you. Nice. Uh, is it just the two beavers? I think it might be. Okay, level 10 and level 145. That's the odd, uh, like the weirdest uh, little pairing of them. Okay, wait. Which one was the level 145? I think it was this one over here. I believe so. Were you the level? Yeah, no. You're the 145. Okay, cool. Where's the level 10? Maybe what we'll do is we'll just... Oh, there's a beaver down there as well. We'll just... um We'll bola the level 10, I would say. Oh, there's another one there. Hang on. Uh, Bola's... There we go. Cool. Wait, what level is that one? Um, wait, that's a monkey. Where, where's the beaver? I saw. Oh, there it is. It keeps going into the water. It's very hard to see them when they're in the water. I actually don't even see it. Uh, they're going in to attack something though. What is the level of that other beaver? Okay, I can't. I can't actually see. It's probably fine. You are a level one twenty. Okay, cool. Hmm, maybe we can lead you away without having to aggro them all. I don't know. We'll see. Let's just go ahead and trank it once, and then I'm just going to run over here. So we're going to have to tame it with berries, so we will ruin its effectiveness a little bit. Okay, the other one back there is following. Let's go ahead and try to bowl of that one and just keep running. Okay, we got it. Nice. Uh, let me bring the 145 a little bit further in this direction. Come on, bro. Here we go. I'll make sure let's trank you a little bit as we're going. Oh, crap. Ooh, I'm super slow. Okay, we're good. Nice. And let's run you pretty much all the way over here. You know what? Hmm. No, I don't think it would be possible. I was just thinking maybe we could bring it back to the raft. That could have been a good idea. 
Okay, here we go. Nice. A 145 Beaver is going to be a fantastic team, though. I cannot wait to have this thing. Where did it go? It just ran. Wait, where did it go? We had you a second ago. Beaver, where'd you... What? Where... Oh, is that it? Yeah, that's it. Cool. We got you. All right. You know what? Maybe I shouldn't run you too far away because you might end up doing that again and then I'll actually lose you. Um, Where's a good spot to try and do this? Maybe like up against the cliff here. If I can bola it right over here, we can probably try to get it taming here. Boom. We got you at that. Ooh, we don't want to get hit a bunch. Nice. All right. We can't get headshots, right? Or can we? We might be able to. Let's hit its tooth. No. <laughs> I don't think that I even actually hit the tooth there. All right, maybe your feet? <laughs> oh my god. I know it's not technically an actual headshot. They're more like a critical area or whatever, but um, yeah, it doesn't seem to be working with them. All right, let's let's uh, let's just hold it here. I don't really want to hit them too hard, too fast with all these arrows. I have a pretty decent crossbow here. Not going to lie, but still. Come on, bro. Come on. All right, wait, how soon can we bully you? Oh, I can already bully you? That doesn't even make any sense. I just had you bullet. Oof, there we go. We're, we're good, we're good. Nice. All right, let me get you. Come on. Here we go. I don't know how many more it's going to be. I don't have a magnifying glass yet. Uh, Come on. We just got to watch for any sort of change in animation. That means that it's going to be knocking out. Ooh, there we go. I don't think we messed that up, right? Oh, it looks so sleepy. Look at you. Nice. All right. Let's uh, dump that in there and then dump a bunch of that in there. And there we go. That's how you do it. All right. I will be making some spikes around this little thing. Uh, also, I do need some food. I don't, I'm not even sure how long I've actually <laughs> needed the food. Uh, <laughs> again, just a quick friendly reminder. M my literal mic is blocking that side of the screen and I usually have to look around. And I feel like the visual cues on the screen in this game are a lot less... Um, intrusive than the last game so yeah all right let's see we're gonna need some hide for this as well actually aren't we yep all right so we're gonna get this thing tamed it's gonna take a long ass time i would say but it's gonna happen oh that's a white drop over there i'm gonna go grab that real quick mm, i should probably not be leaving you though Ugh, i hate this i want the white drop even though it's probably trash inside of it no we're gonna have to leave it okay i will not be succumbing to the white drop <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's trying to distract me all right we're looking for spikes let's see there we go we got those nice um what do we need for those actually here we go we need some fiber yeah we need fiber we need hide they're not too expensive actually so pretty good let's go ahead and grab this Give me some fiber. All right. We're going to go ahead and make a little wall around this guy here. Uh, keep him safe. And I'll probably just bring you guys back once we have him so we can actually make some progress. Unless something bad happens. You know, Therizinos are probably waiting. Also, I do have to say, lots of people were telling me that I was crazy about the amount of uh, fiber that I was getting with my sickle. Very clearly, there was something wrong because, as you can see, I've been swinging it for a long time here. We still don't even have 1,500, which is what I had with, like, two swings before. So... Yeah, I'm not entirely certain what was going on there. Uh, but yeah, I, I guess whatever it is, it's been fixed. Or maybe the bushes I was hitting were just crazy high fiber density or something. I have no idea. Anyway, let's, uh, we need some hide. Mm, yeah, we, we also need to do that. I guess I'll keep you guys here for this. Oh, hello. Perfect little hide monster. <laughs> I just shot him back. Oh, that's so good. All right, there we go. Got one so far. Might I be able to kill you? Level 125, probably... Wait, you can't bowl of them. You know, you can't. Okay, good. I had a feeling. Um, I'm glad that we can uh, now see whether or not they're bowlable or not. Um, okay, yeah. We're... Uh, we're pro oh, that gave me two. Wait, did that actually give me two? I think it might have. Or did I accidentally craft two and not realize? I guess I'll find out in a minute. All right, let me, uh, let me go kill something else. I guess I can kill this Ichthyornis. They're a lot easier to kill in this game, actually, I've noticed. Because I think their hitboxes are probably updated or something. Here we go. Give me that hide. Alright, we got this crafting. Is that going to give me two again? No, it gave me one. So clearly I did hit that twice earlier. Oops. Well, I guess I will be tempted by the white drop. Right? This is a white drop, right? Oh, it is. Okay. For a second there, it kind of looked blue. Alright, let's see. What do you have for me? 
Um, oh, that's exactly what I needed. <laughs> okay, that's great. That's actually kind of fantastic. This is like exactly what I needed it to have, and it had it. Oh my god. All right, it was a very tempting white drop, and for good reason. All right, let's uh, let's grab some more wood here, and we'll make a couple more spike fences. Probably like three more should do it. All right, that should be pretty good. I should probably get another one for like right here. So let me go ahead and grab some more wood. Yeah. So if I just place that last one, it randomly just decides to start snapping. Why? Why? Why would you do that? Uh, yeah. Maybe I'll, I'll just place it right here. That should work, right? Yeah. This should be good. I can really. I mean, I could still see a creature coming in and going around the corner, but for the most part, you should be okay. We're actually going to go ahead and start dumping in all of this, uh, these narco berries here, and this should keep you out for the count. I do also have narcotic here as well, and I should probably chuck some of that onto you just in case. Uh, we'll just keep it inside the inventory or whatever. All right, there we go. Nice. So yeah, this beaver should be good to go. We just got to wait on it, and it's going to take a long ass time, but it's already 7% done. So yeah, uh, this is still going to take a long time though. Oh my God. Oh, man. All right, so this thing is due to tame up very, very, very soon. Oh, there we go. Nice. Oh, man. Yeah, that took a, a good long while. Ah, oh, berry tames have always been painful, haven't they? Let's go ahead and pick up all these spikes. Sweet. So there we go. We got a 145 beaver. That is amazing. Wait, what level are you now? 213? Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. We only lost like five levels, which is great. Um, so yeah, all in all, very, very successful. And we can ride on you as well, which is the best part. So let's go ahead and grab up some wood. Oh, yeah. Infinitely, like, 10, 15, 100 times better right now. I'm so happy. Um, I actually might go ahead and swim back, because it's probably faster to do that than to run on land all the way around here. So yeah, let's just, like, swim across this little bay here, and then we just need to go up the cliff and basically get right back to the house. So not too bad at all let's see make sure you grab some of this on the way the only thing we should be dropping is the berries because they are pretty heavy we don't really need them and we got a level already nice this is also a smithy as well which is pretty handy so i mean i'm not sure if i'm gonna make much use out of that because considering i already have a smithy so yeah not uh not a crazy big deal but you know it could be it could be handy we'll see um, let me swim all the way across here. Hopefully there's no sarcos in here. I don't think that there is, but there could be. So I guess we got to watch out. Let me just peek my head under. Yeah, we might be okay. We're actually pretty fast as well. Ugh, dude, even like the light beaming through the water looks so good. It's like a tiny little detail that you might notice. It's so nice. All right, here we go. Now we just got to get up and around this hill and then we are home free. I will say I probably could have spent some of the time when this beaver was taming up to be productive and and get things done or maybe gather things but nope nope i didn't even want to try and leave it i didn't want any sort of situation where we might lose this thing and i am so glad that we didn't because you know there's so many therizinos around you never know what might happen and it could all happen so fast as well all right there we go nice and we just got to turn around go up this hill here uh yeah there's the hill okay i'm trying to think of like what's the best way to do this because i can fill up the beaver and then maybe we fill up like a box guess I can, like, take one of these. Um, I guess I can make a new one, though, as well. I've been getting a bunch of, like, random building materials from some of these drops around here, by the way. We've also got some more from just there as well, which is great. So, yeah, three campfires is pretty nice. I like that. Let's go ahead and drop this, though. Okay, so I've built up a bunch of structure pieces. We just got to place some of them down. And there are so many snap points here. It's kind of crazy. There we go. Nice. So we're just going to fill in like the second uh, floor. And then we're probably going to put some ceilings down, which I actually didn't build any of. Yeah. What the hell? What? Why did I build a bunch of like roofs and no ceilings at all? That was dumb. <laughs> I just realized that. Oh, man. Well, we got a little bit more crafting to do, but uh, we're just going to kind of build this in like stages, I would say. I think that this this floor right here will probably end up actually being its own floor um maybe we'll leave the middle open and then have it kind of uh be both sides or something like that i don't know we'll see um and then maybe we could put like a staircase going up here yeah that could kind of work let me see do i can these be used as ramps oh they can okay cool hang on let's uh let's try and make this then oh i'm super heavy that makes sense let's drop that back into there um all right so let's switch it to the stairs and then can i make it go in the other direction there okay nice that's what i want nice okay and then up one more can we go up come on let me have it okay hang on we gotta 
We got to figure out how to snap that on there. Nice. Okay. That's that. And that is going to lead up to here. I'm trying to think of like how I want to do this floor though, you know? Hmm. Not entirely certain just yet. You know what? I kind of don't want the stairs right here. I think I have a better idea. First of all, putting some of them back is going to help. Um, because I, I'm just way too heavy with all of them on me. Let's see. Uh, so if I stand here, we could do that there and then do the next one up on top. Cool. So this will be the, uh, the staircase up to this side. And then we can do, we can maybe do like another one on the opposite side. That could be a thing. Although I might want that space for some crafting. Yeah. I'm really struggling with like the placement here. I'm trying to like figure out how I'm going to have like a staircase. I mean, I could just use the actual stairs, uh, which you can, yeah, you can actually get from this. These look very, very odd. They are strange. They take up like pretty much, you know, exactly like the, uh, the footprint of a, a ceiling or a foundation. And it's just really strange looking. I don't know. There's just something about them that I'm not a big fan of. Um, yeah. And like underneath it actually, it looks kind of cool, I guess, but I don't know. I, I think it almost looks a little bit too steep. I don't know if I'd want to walk up these stairs. Like this kind of looks a little bit terrifying, right? Is that just me? Maybe it might just be me. Anyway, let's, uh, let's go ahead and pick that up. Should I have a staircase or should I just do that? I feel like, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I think I might need to play around with this a little bit more. All right, I have to be completely honest. What I'm doing is not going to work. Um, this new building system, of course, is new. You know, there's some interesting pieces that I wanted to try and use, but I just don't know how to use them in the way that I'm thinking of and make it work. There is some interesting stuff, like what I just, I did right here, which is, um, it's this piece right here. It's the uh wood roof corner thingy so uh yeah this is what they look like normally so you can use that to create a peak but you can also place them like that at an angle which is so cool looking in all honesty that is amazing looking and um yeah super happy about that but uh yeah just in general this is not working i think what we need to do is we need to ditch this part here and then keep these parts maybe i think yeah so Unfortunately, that's going to mean that I'm going to have to tear down the whole thing. But luckily, there's actually a very, very nice new change for the building system. Uh, where's a good spot to try and demonstrate this? Maybe if I go ahead and just remove... Uh, I'm going to have to remove some of these, I think. No, no, no. Wait, hang on. If I remove this... Uh, if I remove some of these, I can show you. So I think if I remove that... Yeah, you can see all of that just got removed and I got it all added to my inventory. How cool is that, right? That is absolutely amazing. I love that that's a thing. You know, you're never going to accidentally remove one pillar and then all of your stuff's going to demolish. Instead, what's going to happen is it's going to all go into your pocket, which, you know, to a certain degree may not be the most ideal situation, but I don't know. I, I prefer that to having it all just collapse and, and then you're left with nothing. So, um, yeah. Now, let's see, how do, how do I even go about trying to fix this? Because the floor is all sorts of messed up. I think I'm going to need to just tear all of this up and then just replace it all from the start. So, yeah, that's going to take me just a little while. It's also going to be super handy for, like, pillars and stuff like that. Super, super handy. Look at that. Oh, that's so amazing. So, yeah, I think we're just going to pretty much have exactly what we have here, except it's going to be, um, you know, it's just going to stop here, essentially, instead of going out by a little bit more. Okay, so things are definitely shaping up. Um, I also actually made the middle part a little bit more narrow, exactly where it was before. Uh, this is what we've got so far. I think it's looking pretty good. We're going to have to cap off the roof in the middle with a different type of roof. Um, I'll show you guys how I'm going to do that in just one second. But I added in some pillars at the front here to kind of add some, like, um, some actual detail to it. And I really like that. I think that actually looks super amazing. And by the way, if you didn't realize it, you can now snap pillars like that. It's it's kind of mind-blowing. I love that these are just features now. It, you know, this is stuff that we... This is kind of somewhat high-level stuff that we had to achieve through S+. But now you can just switch it to that. It's like a wooden beam when you switch on its side, obviously. It's a pillar this way. Um, I'll probably still call them pillars. Just a heads up. I, I love it. I really do. Um, yeah. So here's what we got. We got the stairs in the middle and we go up and just for some extra detail, I did just put a doorway right here. We've got windows there. We've got windows there. And then we have windows here. Now pay attention. So up here, there's only six walls and then the little half walls on either end. 
and let me go downstairs. You'll notice I went with seven, and that's gonna create like a little bit of variation when you look at the windows from the outside. So they're gonna kind of look a little bit offset, and I like it, I really do. I did want to add in some more windows, but I just felt like that was overkill, so I don't really want to do that. In all honesty, it would be kind of cool if we had like, um, I don't know, just like something bigger than the windows, but not a door, if you know what I mean. Like maybe an extended window or something? I, I don't really know. Yeah, looks pretty cool though. Anyway, we did these little like capped off pieces here as well, and uh, those look really awesome. And yeah, let me go in here, and we're going to do a little bit of on-cam building. Honestly, my, my plan going into this video was like you guys were gonna see the majority of it I didn't think it would be this complicated in certain ways, but um Yeah, so what we have right here is the triangle ceiling, which is not what we want. We want this one right here This is the corner one. Also, you can build from really far away. Look at that. I'm snapping it from here That's kind of insane and it's probably easier if I just stand down here So we gotta snap that like that and then that like that and then this one snaps into that one and we can create this kind of uh, little corner piece. The only thing that I don't know about is when I... Here, let me grab... Do I have some more? I think I do. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we do. Nice. Let me grab that. The only issue that I'm going to have here is when we get up onto the roof, which is my zoom out button. It's this one. Oh, we're already fully zoomed out. You can see right there, we have kind of like... It's going to flatten out. And that might be an issue for us. I don't really know if there's something that can go there. So... I'm gonna have a little look and see if we've got something and what I mean by that is I mean what's gonna fit up there What's gonna go into that spot in between those two roofs right there? Is there something that can go there? I don't think that there is um, I think what we would need is Kind of like a, a piece like this except it, it you know it has Like a corner kind of there and a corner here and then it kind of like I don't know <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. You probably know what I mean, but yeah, just like slopes kind of going up here, here, and then here. And then this side would be like a triangle or whatever. I don't I don't really know. Um, they have those pieces in um, the Castles and Keeps mod, though. So, in all honesty, I feel like, you know, they've done so many upgrades to the building system. I can definitely see them adding in a couple more. Um, yeah, and I really hope that they do. Because one thing that I suggested on Twitter today was a little piece, like a railing. Except it would cut off here and it would just be you know, this one little piece right here, and then we'd be able to put that right there. By the way, holding down right click brings up a crosshair, and that's amazing. I love that so much. So yeah, just uh, like having like a kind of, I guess like a half length railing or something. I don't know how you would get that because this is attached to like in terms of the, uh, the new blueprinting. This is this part right here. So it's a uh, wood quarter wall and it's a railing. Um, so... The only thing is, is like, there's nothing smaller than this, but we'd be getting half of the railing. So I don't know how people would feel about that. Yeah. Anyway, um, so that's what we've got so far. And we're going to continue that. So let me grab the rest of these. And I should probably place the ones on the other side. Let's get that there. And I did that one wrong. Oh, crap. Okay, so here's the issue, right? I can't actually get to that. There's no, like, pulling gun or anything like that. Or not pulling gun. Like, a uh, structure... Uh, gun or anything. Um, I definitely would appreciate that if they did something like that. I hit the wrong button. Oops Let's do this Like not that we need like the S plus guns and all but uh, yeah, just I feel like it would be kind of great It would be oh crap. That's still the ah. Oh, it's on the different variant. My bad. All right. God damn it <laughs> like Attempt number three here. Uh, all right. Let's uh place that as a window boom and then Let's first of all switch that and then secondly Let's get that placed up there in the correct orientation. It is E to flip it. No, it's not flipping. It's, uh, we're going to have to switch the snap point. There we go. Okay, cool. And then that's that. Cool. All right. So we're going to place these up here. And by the way, I just want to let you know, I'm not using any mods at all. So everything you see me doing here is possible in vanilla, just so you know, because I like, we haven't added in any mods. I, I I'll be completely honest with you. I kind of don't even want to add mods to this. Um, maybe my chibi mod whenever I get that remade. I don't know. I kind of feel like I don't want to. I, I might change my mind. I probably will. But for the most part, I'm kind of thinking of not doing that. Okay, here's an issue. Um, I can't snap that there. So I'm going to have to use the little quarter walls for that spot. Okay, that's not going to be a major issue though. 
Dude, this house is looking cool. Hang on a second now. Let's see. Okay. That it's looking pretty good. I like it. I mean, yeah. I, th I have a couple ideas from the front. Um, I feel like the peaks are a little bit much, though. Should we also do them on the back? I don't know about that. I feel like we need to do something to make that look less weird. And I don't know what it is. Again, this is my very first building with the brand new building system. I will probably get a lot better at actually figuring things out and, uh, you know, planning ahead and whatnot. But, um, yeah, we're, it's, it's a little finicky for me right now. I'm just trying to, like, understand how everything works. So, yeah. Anyway, let me, uh, go ahead and close these gaps. And in all honesty, I don't think that there's anything I can do up there unless I want to build up a little bit and add another little kind of roof type thing. And I don't know if I want to do that. I guess I could. I have a kind of an idea of what I could do. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Anyway, let me go ahead and just get the rest of these placed in. And I can't really even see. I think that's correct, though. Yeah. Okay, so I think the building is probably done. There's the roof, by the way. Instead of using regular ceilings, what I actually decided to do was I put the, um, the little cellar doors there, which you can get from a normal ceiling. It's just one of its variants. Um, yeah, here's, here's the inside anyway. I'll show you the outside in just one sec. I have all the windows closed because I was logged off and I didn't want anybody monkeying my base. So, yeah, um, I think it's really nice. It's very spacious and we have tons of room for, like, everything that we're going to need down here. So, this is probably going to be, like, the crafting side. This over here will probably end up being the, um, the food and, like, different kind of side. You know, storage of food and then grills and all that other stuff. Um, and then up top... We have two little sides up here. I'll probably end up having one of them as, like, a bedroom. And then maybe I can, like, store some creatures over here. Some, like, small pets and stuff. So, yeah, that's uh, that's it. Let me show you out here. So, we have our little... Well, a little. It's, like, a tiny little, like, step out, pretty much. Um, Yeah, this is our little balcony. And we've also got this door. I'm actually going to open it outwards because I think it looks really good. I love the way that the doors are now. You can actually decide which way it opens out and then also you know flip them around and everything there's so many options that's great so uh yeah this is probably the most gorgeous view ever i mean yeah god damn that looks amazing that looks absolutely fantastic the only thing here is the fact that i have the railing snapped into the wall there but there's realistically nothing i could have done there it's super annoying but it is what it is uh we've got our little crafting stuff over here we've got the windows they actually open uh, upwards. You can change the orientation again. You can make them open in any direction you want. And uh, here is the outside. Let me quickly just open this inwards. I think it looks better that way. And you know what? Let me actually just close that. So here is the base. Ignore the scaffolding. That's actually probably the easiest way to get up and down, by the way. That's so handy. So here it is. Um, Yeah, I really like it. You know what? Actually, we can we can use the photo mode. Here we go. Uh, okay, that's my crotch. One sec. I'm still learning. The photo mode is cool and all, but I still, uh, I'm still trying to, like, figure out how it all works and everything. I think I'm, like, super zoomed in right now. Hang on. Is it this? No, it's this one. So this is gonna make it really handy to just, like, check out things. We've got, like, just a free roam camera. We can't go too far, unfortunately. We can't go any further in that direction, but you can kind of see what I've done here. Uh, so for the roof, I decided on the front it should peek out, and then on the back it shouldn't at all. And I'll show you the back in just one minute. But, um, yeah, that is what I did. I, I went ahead and, oh my god, this is so handy. Isn't this really handy for me to just show you what I've done? Ah, that's amazing. Uh, so we have the, uh, the little peaks out here, and then I placed a, uh, sloped wall right there. I snapped a railing to it. And then on the very top of the roof, we have some pillars going across. We have some railings snapped up onto the, um, the sloped roofs as well. And that just creates a really nice effect. And then for the middle, because it's three wide, I had to do it slightly differently. But I think it still kind of works. It would be kind of nice to maybe put something else in here. I, I don't know what. I feel like maybe just something to fill the space would be a good idea. But um, yeah, so I just, I love it. We have like this little porch area now as well. Uh, just super, super handy. And, um, yeah, the back actually looks pretty cool as well. Uh, let's see. Get out of photo mode. Nice. I feel like, to a certain extent, maybe photo mode could be abused in, like, raids and stuff to, to figure out where, uh, where people's stuff is or whatever. Uh, take, like, a closer look at their base without having to walk closer. I mean, there's not that much range on it. This is about as far as I can go away from myself, but still. So here's the back. And, again, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. 
So what I decided to do here was I actually snapped on the triangle um, sloped roofs right here. And then we basically just created that little uh, rounded part there. And then I put on some sloped walls, snapped some, uh, some what do they call them, railings there. And then we also have a, another railing there in the middle because there wasn't really anything to fill that spot besides a railing. I mean, I probably could have actually snapped that railing upside down. I might actually try that. I think it's possible. I'm fairly certain that is actually possible. So we might do that. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna get up there again because that was such a pain to actually place, but yeah, fair enough. Um, I mean, they're not that hard to place, I guess. It wasn't that bad. It was bad on this side, though. Uh, but the issue is trying to remove it now would actually be a real big pain because there's no, like, ranged way of doing that. So, um, yeah, you can see here is the, the hole back, and then at the very top, I decided to slope it all in like this, and... I just, I think it looks great. I mean, from, from the side, it looks really nice. It would have been nice to be able to do something rounded at the back in the middle, but it wasn't going to be possible. Uh, but yeah, obviously, the, the front looks really, really good. Um, I'm just super happy with this. This is great. Absolutely fantastic. Let's go ahead and get out of photo mode. That is that is an absolute game changer. That's going to help out a huge amount. Uh, this is my way of getting up and down. <laughs> just like making a little bit of scaffolding. And then the greatest part is all I have to do to remove all of it is just take that away. That's it. I don't have to do anything else. Absolutely amazing. Um, so I think just in general, I might be done with it for the moment. We might end up adding more details. I'm the kind of person that will make it all for a certain, you know, to a certain degree. I'll make it all. And then I will uh, step away for a couple days and then come back and I'm like, Oh, it should have this as well, you know? <laughs> and that's that's just kind of how I work. So, uh, yeah, let's actually go ahead and pick this up. This is a good way of me demonstrating what we did earlier. So you can see I just picked up all of those. So, yeah, that's great. That is just absolutely amazing. Is that a baby turtle? No, it's a Lystro. Okay, I thought it was a turtle. I don't know why. Look like uh, there was a blue turtle around here recently. That's kind of why I'm thinking that. Uh, yeah, the beavers come in really, really handy, of course. It's got a bunch of levels. I've been pump pumping them all straight into weight. And, um, yeah, just in general, like, this is, uh, this is really cool. I'm, I'm just super proud of what I've managed to do here as my first attempt of a base. And, um, yeah, we've just got the most amazing view as well. The only other thing I do need to do is actually get all my resources in there and organize the inside. So I guess we can try and work on that a little bit. Um, I'm not entirely certain where I want to actually be putting my storage because trying to, like, figure things out. I, I fear, I, I fear that I might end up, like, placing things down and then, wanting to move them constantly so yeah i don't really know um yeah no idea i think maybe i might put some storage boxes under here actually that could be a good idea i, f I feel like that would actually be a good spot for them because they'll be kind of out of the way i was gonna put a bathroom in there but we might just not do that let's see let's grab all of this stuff here let's go ahead and just do that um, I'm not sure how many storage boxes will even fit in there. I think this next one's full of fiber, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, can I grab all that? It weighs 95, and I could, but I probably shouldn't. I don't have that much weight left over. Uh, by the way, level-wise, like, I'm I'm kind of annoyed about this. This this really annoys me. I'm level 80 already. <sighs> I hate that. Um, I really do. Oh, by the way, actually, we might have an issue here. <laughs> so... The uh, the new intake system, right? We have the uh, the whole thing where you just you just need to place it in water. Well, what happens when you're super far up and away from the water? You can't run pipes up here anymore. The only thing I haven't messed around with is the reservoirs. So I don't know. Can I like daisy chain them or something? That better be a thing. Because if it's not, then they've literally made it so you cannot get water if you're at a certain elevation, which I do not like. So yeah, let me uh, let me just grab this stuff. Maybe I'll grab out that cage actually. That could be like a nice little decoration. We've got a war map as well. We just have all this like random stuff from um, from drops and whatnot. Um, we have an artifact base. I think I'll just leave that for the moment. All right, cool. Let me uh, let me head in here with some of this stuff. Then we'll place down the storage boxes first. So that looks like it's roughly in the middle. I think looks like it. So now we can actually snap these ones directly to it, which is fantastic. Um, are we on the snapping mode? There we go. Cool. Uh, we can get one more. Does that intersect with the stairs at all? Eh, it probably does, but not in like a visual way. Okay, that's a really great use of space. I might actually, you know what? Let's uh, let's make some of those small storage boxes as well. What do we need for that? We're probably just out of uh, fiber or something. There they are. Fiber and thatch. Okay, cool. 
Let's grab both of those. I might make like two of these. I'm, I'm gonna just see if I can slot them in underneath the stairs, uh, just because I feel like that's the kind of thing that you would do with that kind of space, you know? All right, it's it's like aligning with that, and I love that so much. Um, the only issue is I need to try and figure out where the center is. That should be okay, I think, right? Let me see. Let me go ahead and snap one there. Yeah, they're probably sticking out around the same amount. That one's actually almost touching the foundation. Is it the same on the side? Oh, wow. Okay, I was way off. So a little bit closer to the foundation, maybe around there. And then this side. Yeah, you know what? That's almost perfect. That that works. That works for sure. So there we go. We have like a bunch of understairs um, storage. I like that. Yeah, a nice use of the space because, I mean, what else could I have put there? I was going to put a toilet, like I said, but, you know, um, this is this is better. This is totally better. Nice. Okay, cool. So, uh, this will be our, like, main storage, and I should also, we, um, we have to make a bookcase, and that's one of the variants of the actual, um, the, the storage chest. Where do I want to put this, though? I feel like, um, I don't know. I feel like upstairs could be, like, a nice spot. Even though it's kind of out of the way and annoying, uh, I still feel like it could be a good spot for it. Um, right there could be nice, but it's gonna be sticking out quite a lot from the wall. So, maybe... I don't know, like right around here could kind of work. Wait, let's actually try some snaps on it. How does the snap? I guess it doesn't really snap. It just snaps to each other. So roughly around there works. Nice. Okay, cool. We also have this other storage box that I guess I can put somewhere if I need to. So um, it's really great. I, like you can actually snap the, um, the mortars and pestles, like, or I guess align them and snap them beside each other on top of a table here. I did put it a little bit further down that way. So we have a little bit more of a gap on this side, but that's okay. And um, I went ahead and also just uh, rotated the middle one so we'd have some, like, variation there. And, um, yeah, just in general, this whole new building system is probably, you know, visually great. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of really nice changes in ASA, but I think the building system is probably what sells it for me, you know? That, uh, that for sure is going to be just way better. Like, the quality of life, you, it, everything's just going to be on the uptick here because... Not only does everything look beautiful, but we can now build things and not have to, like, work with all these finicky, annoying uh, quirks that the old building system had. And, um, yeah, I just, I really like it. Like, the whole overhaul is what this needed, and I'm glad that they did it. So, here we go. Let's see. Uh, Bed-wise, we'll probably end up shoving that down the end here. So, maybe we'll put, like, the map here, I guess. Uh, let's see. Can I snap that into the middle of the wall? That doesn't work interesting so some things will snap but some things will not okay well there we go and then i guess we'll put our little cage over here uh which way is that facing i feel like this is wait which way is the front uh yeah this is totally f the front right i think let's uh let's place that like down this way yeah that is the front nice okay we'll just put that there in case we want any like shoulder pets or something in there in fact, let me go ahead and just pick up Jim. You've probably got a bunch of levels. Okay, no, just one. You have been leveled a bunch, though. So that's awesome. You know what I should make? A fireplace. Yes. Let's see. Uh, fireplace. Oh, they are expensive in terms of stone. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. We can, we can afford it, I would say. Yeah, that's not going to be super bad. I think, do beavers also decrease the weight of stone? I think they might. I just feel like they might. Let me uh, let me try this out. They do, yeah. I, I knew it. I absolutely knew it. Awesome. Okay, so we can use you a little bit. They're not as efficient as uh, the likes of, you know, Dodix and stuff like that, but still pretty handy. Dump all these things in here. Um, maybe I'll just put these structures into this last one. We'll just work on trying to get ourselves... Uh, maybe two fireplaces actually would be nice. One on either side would actually be kind of killer. Yeah, I think I want that. Oh, by the way, actually, let me show you this. Um, not super happy with this change. So I I was thinking, you know what? I might want some, like, windows um, for, for the house, and I might want them to be greenhouse. But this is what the greenhouse doors look like, and I'll show you what the windows look like. Let me place it on one where I can actually grab it back. Yeah, not a big fan now. Um, I mean, it probably suits it a little bit more, but I just, visually, that is not as nice as the old one. Um, I much prefer the old one. Like, this is, like, I guess that's not as bad as the door, but 
I don't know. Yeah, not not a not a huge fan of that. I kind of wish that it was a little bit more see through, but maybe that's just me. Maybe everybody else likes it. I have no idea. Um, I did make up a couple of them just to see, but um, yeah, I think we're pretty much out of crystal now, so might need to go off and, gra and grab some more at some point. Um, all right, well we do need stone. Let's see. Let me work on that. Uh, you can also see, like, I've pretty much diminished the majority of the forest around here. It has actually grown back by a good amount, to be honest, because that little cluster of trees over there, there's, like, nine or ten trees in that one little spot that you see. Tiny little palm trees. Yeah, those are, um, those are fantastic. Those have come back. Some of these other ones have, too. Oh, I just realized. Oops. What the hell did I just craft? What did I just craft? Oh, it was a door. Oops. All right. Didn't mean to do that. Let's see. Let me just, uh, grab a little bit more wood from there and let me actually get the engram for the um the thingy on the tracker you know what we'll just put it on the bar instead i like the tracking system but this is a little bit handier because i can actually see when it's craftable and i can craft it directly from my hot bar currently there is no way to actually do that they haven't added it yet um i don't know why <laughs> it was like it was such a perfect opportunity to do something like that. And they, I guess they forgot. I just realized I don't have my pick on me. So we're not actually going to be able to get much flint. And I might need to actually just quickly go grab some. Along with a little bit of thatch. Yeah, we're going to need just a tiny little touch of thatch. By the way, don't worry about these things. I will pick them up before they despawn. We've got like two hours on them. We should have enough now for one fireplace. There we go. Oh, let's get that crafting. Um... Not a huge amount for another. I think what I might end up doing is I'll just... I'll make the other one later. For the moment, we'll just make the one. Because my hatchet is probably going to break before I get all that stone. So, yeah. Let's uh, just get back up and around here. Okay. So, for the moment, we'll just place a fireplace on this side. And... Hmm, where's a good spot to try and put it? Right in the middle might be nice. But the issue is the, the windows. Hmm. I might need to replace those windows with walls instead. Like, that's nice and all, but it is kind of sticking out a little bit. Not a huge amount, to be honest. Let's see. Is that, like, in the middle there? All right. Do you have any snapping, then? No. No snapping on this. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't seem to. All right. Uh, I guess we got to kind of just, like, wing it and try and get it in the middle here. Looks like it's probably pretty good. It's very hard to see in here because of the, the way that I've built the roof. It's just, like, making my camera go all over the place. Um, I guess tiny touch to this side now that's too much now okay that might be good yeah that that'll work it's kind of blocking the window just a little bit and if it annoys me too much maybe we can go ahead and uh and move the window or something let me see what is the okay yeah no i like that that's that's nice yeah that looks really good actually damn all right okay yeah, that's a good spot for it. I'm just, I really like the chimney. It's just, it's one of my favorite things. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, all right, let's see. You know what? Actually, what would have been a really cool idea if they had like a way to extend the chimney, right? That actually would be kind of nice. I, I feel like it could probably be abused in like PvP or something somehow. Somehow somebody would figure out some way of, of just using it to their advantage and that advantage would be out of the game rules but still you know i feel like definitely would be nice if we had some sort of way of uh, extending it out because like so many times i've built houses and i want one on the ground floor but you know i i can't like keep building multiple inside the house and kind of like leapfrogging it up you know i think it would be kind of nice to actually be able to place it down here and have the chimney stretch all the way up through that floor all the way up along the wall and then out the roof and i probably wouldn't have it go out as far i'd probably have it go out just a little bit maybe like half the length that it currently is going out i don't know just you know I, like yeah I, i'm just i'm having like these ideas and and in my head it's like you know they're updating so much of the building maybe maybe do this as well just add that in you know that would be great um yeah let me go, go ahead and chuck this in here we need to do a metal run soon because i i've basically exhausted my resources of metal here we don't really have any um, I think, yeah, we have, like, a couple ingots somewhere. I think they're in here. Yeah, we have, like, 25. That's not going to get me anywhere if I need to fix something. So, yeah, we definitely need to be working in that probably in the next episode. Um, just in general, I know that there's the cave around here, and I think it might be a little further in that direction. Um, I know it's here somewhere. It's just, like, the area looks so kind of different, so... 
yeah we'll uh we'll figure that out we'll probably go to that cave maybe in the next episode there's probably some metal in there and then also crystal and other stuff so we'll bring the beaver around try and fill you up or something but um yeah you know what guys i think that's probably gonna be it for today uh the base i think looks pretty good you know what do you guys think about it um hopefully you guys like it and hopefully i didn't go a little bit too overboard no let's be honest i totally did <laughs> oh no uh it's okay i mean you know it's my very first base i just i really wanted to do justice to the building system and not just build like a little two by two you know um so yeah you know i made like a little one by one on the beach and then this is my second base <laughs> so yeah anyway that's gonna be it for today guys if you have enjoyed this one go ahead do me a favor hit the like button and um i really appreciate all the support on the channel i do actually have to say that like the the channel has been doing really really good as it always kind of does whenever there's new art content but everybody just seems so excited and it really it it motivates me and it and it, it really does help so uh i appreciate that guys and um yeah i'll catch you in the next one then oh my god this is so cool i love it <laughs>